What is up guys, welcome back to another video, it's your boy Low Tech. As you can see, we have an exciting video for today. We're gonna be installing a new hood, new fender that I picked up from my boy Jeff. I'm gonna put his Instagram up on the screen. If you guys need any carbon, he is the plug. Let him know I sent you, he'll definitely take care of you. We're gonna be taking off the hood and the fenders off today. I love this hood. I had this hood for so long, probably like six, seven years. Uh, it's been good to me. Obviously the clear is still good have not had any issues this car has been garage kept since i got in it the only thing it has is this little scratch right here i don't know how well you guys can see that on camera but little scratch can't even really see it and then my fenders have a scratch right here from the stupid bumper and on uh, this side we got a little minor scratch there but in that overall looks good can't even tell uh, as far as the carbon matching, obviously the fender's a little darker than the hood, but in the sunlight you can't really see it. It looks good. I've been having it like this for so long. Never bothered me, but some of you guys it may bother you. But, but uh, anyways, we're going to be installing this today. I will show you guys in a little bit the unwrapping of this. And then a little later in this video, I'm going to be talking about why I haven't uploaded it. A lot of shit has happened, I'm not going to lie. I've been in literally two accidents this month and it's fucking crazy to me but uh, i'll be talking about that a little later in this video and uh i'll break down all that but anyways right now we're going to be focusing on this i'm going to take the car out jack it up and start removing stuff i'm waiting on george to get here he's gonna help me out so we can knock this out faster and uh, i'm excited i'm excited to show you guys it's gonna be so dope i'm excited to show you guys the new upgrade and then i'll go into more detail on what why i'm switching it up and the difference in the two uh right now these are fly one uh fenders these are 12 mil wider than an oem my hood is a saivon ts hood i love this hood it's my favorite it's better than the vas one i uh in my opinion because it has a vent right here but yeah all right, change of plans. While George is on his way, I might as well go over the fender and show you guys, and so I can show you guys the difference. So, the Fly One fender, as you can tell, it has this little part right here where it flares out, and it doesn't really align well with the bumper. And it's mainly to make it look white body. Not a fan of it. it. Doesn't line up. If you can tell, it's like finger difference. Not a fan of that what the new fenders it actually lines up perfectly and it'll be flush let me show you they're literally identical but the only difference with these uh, these actually come with the mesh as to the fly ones it does not come with that it just has the open vents as you can see but to each their own some of you guys may like it without it some with it's all personal preference. I personally like it with, with the mesh. That way I don't have anything. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm cleaning this, I'm always having like leaves or whatever go in there. This is gonna help that. I actually love these fenders for this reason. It actually has the holes already drilled out for you. Not like the Fly One ones. Uh, you have to drill them out yourself. These already come with it. So it should be a quick and easy install. No disrespect to Fly One. Uh, I'm really good friends with Fly One. Uh, I have nothing against them. So this is not a hate or diss video towards them. This is just my own personal opinion. Another thing I want to point out from the TS hood. This is fiberglass. Now you come over to the new hood. Metal. Damn, that shit's only good too. Should latch on so much better. A lot of times with these hoods, the fiberglass one, it fucking flies open on the freeway on people. I never had an issue, but hopefully I don't have an issue with this. And there it is. It's a new hood. It's going to look so much more aggressive. Hi, yours. Hi, yours. What was I don't know. We never came up with one. Yeah, we did. Oh, ours? This one. That hand, stupid. No. There we go. No. That's crazy. Fuck you. 
I fucking forgot. This is a lot. No, it's just so sick. Fully carbon too. This shit's so light. It's so much lighter than that hood. Ah, still need to sell that one. That one's light. Yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah, this is super light. Doesn't yeah, weigh fighting. anything. You fighting. can pick it up with one hand. Yeah, it's um, it's real reinforced um, magnesium. Oh, magnesium. That's crazy. <laughs> you're stupid. Well, let's take this hood off. This should be fun. It's very easy. What is it? Ten? A ten mil? Twelve? Twelve? Yep. There you are. The hood is on, we got it all aligned, looking good. Now we gotta take the fender off. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to install the hood. There's videos on how to do that. It's literally four bolts on each side. Check it out. That's fucking wild. Clear? Yeah. Wait, stop. On turns is gonna fuck me. I do have a spacer, I can take it off. Alright, I am pretty beat, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really dirty, sweaty. Um, very easy, very easy install. I love the fitment on these. It fit perfect. My side skirt lined up very well. Very happy with that. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I love that it already has the holes pre-made for you already. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, side skirt bolted up directly. Love that it has a hole right here on the side for the side skirt. Perfect. Um, lines up very nicely as you can see. Even lines up nicely with the hood. It's like literally perfect. Just a heads up, if you guys go with Sub-Zero for the hood, you're gonna need uh, a 10 mil uh, flange nut because uh, the OEM ones are 13 mil. Let me show you really quick. These right here. These are like 13 mil. And these, you're not gonna be able to run these anymore. So you're gonna have to go get a smaller one, like 10 mil, if I can get this thing to focus. Yeah, you need a 10 mil. Uh, that was the only thing I had to do uh, for that hood to fit. Uh, I need to go buy some screws so I can bolt up my bumper to my fenders. And then uh, it should look good. It should sit like that once it's bolted. But right now, obviously, it's not bolted, so it's going to stick up. So I'm going to go get that, get put the screws in, and then uh, go take pictures. I'm really scared of this fitment. Really tight. Uh, might have to take off the spacer that I have in there. I'm gonna drive it around, see if it rubs after I bolt that bumper up together. Overall, happy. Shout out to my boy Jeff. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, George, again, for helping me knock this out fairly quickly. Uh, it only took us about two hours, not too bad. But I have not done the right side. I am gonna do this probably next weekend. I'm really out of time and I got shit to do, so. I am, I've been recording. Oh, fuck yeah, you can help me out for my vlog.
I feel like you need safety glasses for this. Yeah, because the fiberglass? If, if it um, snaps and it shoots back, that's not going to be good. Fenders and hood are finally installed, looking real good. I am actually really happy on how this turned out. I love the quality of these fenders and the hood. Uh, now my carbon actually matches. Uh, the fitment on these are A1. Uh, the holes are pre-made, but I did have to do a little adjusting as far as like making the holes a little bit bigger, uh, just so I can uh, get it to sit well. But besides that, everything was direct bolt on. Before I end this vlog, I wanted to talk to you guys about where I've been. Um, all of September and mid-October, I've been involved. I was involved in a car accident, especially in September. Uh, we T-boned another car that completely cut us off. It was not our fault. He did an illegal U-turn. I injured my lower back and all the other passengers were injured as well but it wasn't too bad thankfully we made it out alive i'm thankful to see another day and then following the following month in october i got rear-ended my evo it wasn't anything too crazy but still now i gotta get the rear bu rear bumper removed i gotta get it fixed and i gotta get it repainted and as well as getting it rewrapped so just setbacks but it is what it is i'm alive again two accidents that's crazy oh and get this yesterday my truck got rear-ended as well i wasn't in it i was parked that's fucking crazy my luck my luck but yeah that has been my uh last couple what two three months I'm here. I did not quit YouTube again. I just been busy with work and gym. You guys follow me on Instagram. You guys can see, you guys can see what I do on a daily basis on my Instagram IG stories. If you guys want to keep up with me, uh, I do post on my IG stories a lot. And yes, your boy does have a girlfriend now, which I will introduce to you guys. Uh, I don't know when. Eventually. So. Stay tuned for that video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like the fenders, hood. Anyways, that is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And guys, remember why you started.